Hi, this is Papa. I'm here to read you a story, but first I have to make sure everybody's ready. Leo, are you there? How you doing, Leo? Okay, what about Elda? Elda, are you there? Okay, good. Well, I'm going to read you a story today, and later Nana will read you a story on another day. And we're going to send you one every couple of days, and you can see it over and over again. So the one I like best is this one, A Giraffe and a Half. This is a hard story to read. So I'm going to start off, I'll show you the page, then I have to read it. If you had a giraffe, and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. It's a pretty one, huh? This says, if he put on a hat and lived inside a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in the hat. Huh. How about that page? If you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. I have a funny feeling about this story. I think I'm going to run out of breath. Here's the next page. And this says, if you glued a nose, I'm sorry, a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. So far, so good. And there's another picture. And this one says, if a bumbly old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. That wasn't too bad. Oh, it's getting longer. That's the next page. And this one says, If he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe. <gasps> oh, this is getting tougher. I'm going to have to take big breaths now. If you gave him a flute and he played tooty toot, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee with some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute. There's the next page. I think I'm going to be in trouble. If he used a chair to comb his hair, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. <laughs> I did it. Oh, there's the next page. This one says, if he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have... A giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is getting very complicated. Look at that one. It says, if he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk, you would have... A giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk. <laughs> oh, it's getting longer. This one says, If he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon, you would have... 
A giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk and a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one. Look at that page. Okay, if he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, you would have... A giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk and a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike. Now, ah, that must be the end of it, huh? Oh no, that's not the end. Look at that. If a blubbery whale got a hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute and a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk and a drunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail. It's got to be the end, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Not the end. If he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat with a cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole. Oh, it's getting better now. See? This one says, But if you brought him a pole to climb out of the hole, and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail, and he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike, and he left the fat dragon because his wagon was sagging, <laughs> And he gave his chair to a tired old bear, and he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. And he told that old snake to go jump in the lake. And a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. Oh. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose, while a bee on his knee flew away with a flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you, and that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute, and he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. Honey, Nana, no. you gotta shut this off now. Oh, okay. How was that? Was that a good story? I thought so. I can't do it twice. That's why we're making a movie so you can play it again. Nana will do one tomorrow. Bye for now.